this was fantastic. I, I don't you. think I've laughed harder at a Jane Austen movie, right? That's what's so surprising about it, isn't it? It's <laughs> <Yeah>. really funny. <laughs> it's so funny. I mean, how, and it's kind of like a little, uh, you know, lost work of hers, correct? Yeah, I mean, it's an un, uh, it was an unfinished novella that was not published until 40 years after she wrote it um, by her nephew, who published it in the end. Um, and yeah, I'd never heard of it. I sort of didn't believe it was Jane Austen when I read the script because it felt so kind of modern in, in, in so many ways and, and edgy and, and naughty. And, right? Um, that wasn't what I was expecting at all. So it was a really pleasant surprise. And, and the novella is absolutely like that. It's, I mean, I'd say a good 90% of what comes out of my mouth is absolutely 100% Jane Austen. So it's not that we haven't taken kind of huge liberties or anything. It's, it's like she... Uh, she this was sort of maybe the heroine she kind of really wanted to write uh -huh. about, but then she softened that person, you yeah. know, like the Elizabeth Bennet sort of. Yeah. But this was the hardcore. I think it's just interesting that she was so young when she wrote this, and yet um, it's a very sophisticated t character, you know, um, in terms of being so flawed and so difficult and naughty and yet likable. That's quite, I mean, that's a hard one to pull off, and... and I'm sure it must be partly to do with Jane Austen's own frustrations in terms of being such an intelligent woman in that period and, um, you know, what it was like for women in that, at that period. And manipulating the men. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Wit kind of, uh, Wit Stillman, I think he, he likes making you this kind of a character because you're sort of similar to <laughs> yeah. your last days of disco character in a way, you know? You're yeah, kind of I mean, he, he is such a genius. That I think he has a really strong appreciation for the tricky... You know, the tricky woman who you can't help but fall in love with, even though you can't believe what she's saying and doing. He's just such an expert on, on that. And and when he writes this, he tends to phone me, which is really nice. You know? He thinks of you as being sassy and uh, yeah. Yeah. edgy, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd not met him the first time, so it has absolutely nothing to do with me. <laughs> Um, and you and Chloe again get to reunite, and that the, she was great in it as well. Yeah, it was lovely, actually, because the last movie Chloe and I did together with Whip, my character was so horrible to hers. It was really nice that we got to be kind of best friends, co-conspirators, you know, um, sitting in carriages, whispering and giggling. That was that was really nice. I wasn't nearly so nasty to her this time. <laughs> <laughs> What's something about Whit Stillman that we might want to know or did, don't know about him? Because he's kind of a sort of enigmatic character. Yeah, he's, de he's a definitely an enigmatic character. He's He's really seriously funny, and he seems like somebody who's going to be very shy and kind of reserved, and actually he just sort of sees everything. He sees the funny and everything. Um, he's just an interesting creature. I, I th he was one of the first American, I mean, he was the first American director I'd ever worked with, and um, I, I definitely, I, he's not a template for everybody else. He's a, he's a one-off. Yes. You know. No, for sure extremely intelligent, very educated, very cultured. I mean, he's the most sort of European American I've ever come across. So this sort of fit, fit right into his kind oh, of sensibility. Totally. And he's obsessed with Jane Austen. Oh, always he has is. been, yeah. And in fact, even in some of his earlier movies, characters have debates about Jane Austen and, you know, so I feel like this has been percolating for a while for him. Well, last question. I am very excited about the next Underworld movie. Oh, are you? Oh, I love them and love them. Oh, I thanks. Do. I know you probably can't give too much away, but how do you see Celine evolving? You know, in, in this in this latest. She does quite a lot of evolving in this latest film. Does she? Yeah, I don't know if I'm, more, I'm allowed to say about that, but <laughs> if you're looking for some evolving, then we're going to deliver that for sure. Yay! <laughs> well, it was very nice to and meet you. And you, thank you so much. Oh my God.